All right, welcome back to Chopper Tick Tuesday here. We're once again, we're in the big shop here, checking out our, or near our display units here. What we're gonna do this week is our first customer suggested top chopper tip. Uh, this one we've been doing for quite a while here at Scolton's, but it was suggested by a customer, so we'll have to make sure they get their free hat. We would like to extend it to all you guys, try to make your life a little easier though. So what we have here is our little trainer stand. This is how we teach everybody how to set a stone without eight people trying to crawl over the feed roll cab of the machine. As you can see, we have a knife here or a portion of a knife welded on. We have our stone and what would be our sharpening barrel. If uh, you're interested in checking this out, swing by the linen location here and we'll take care of it. So what we're gonna get started with here is a normal stone adjustment. We'll insert our lock pin, we'll release our retainer hook. I like to remove it so it's just out of your way completely. <clears throat> Set that down the side, make the stone, and then break it free. I uh, hope yours doesn't break free that easily. Obviously this one's been taken apart quite a few times here, so we'll just kind of reset it. All right, so you wanna back it all the way out so you remove the retainer ring, set that to the side, and push your stone up and out. Now, I know it, I was cheating because it came out that easy, but that's the goal of this tip, is to make sure your stone is released easily every time. So, we're gonna take apart our rings here, remove them from the stone, so I always like to do this, even if we're just doing a simple adjustment, just to try to clean out all the debris in there. Now, here's where the tip comes in. Just grab a regular can of WD-40 from your local auto parts store or order a case from Amazon, because it is pretty handy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just really soak the stone with WD-40. Make sure it really absorbs into the stone or that rubbers are gonna be grabbing. And what this will do is it'll prevent the moisture from getting into this stone and rusting with the iron particles from sharpening into the rubbers. We're gonna then push our rubbers back on our steel. Back on, another rubber, and then two more steels. Once we've done that, We'll do the same light coat, or another light coat of WD-40 on the outsides of the steels and rubbers. We're gonna take it and reinsert it into the barrel. See, it slides right down nice. Now, then we'll wanna take our locking collar, secure it down there, and just lift this so you have about a eighth to a sixteenth of clearance on top of the knife. Then snug a little more so it's secure and doesn't drop back on. Then we'll take our stone tool here. Then we'll take our torque wrench here and torque the barrel. Now, obviously you can't get the correct torque on here because of the weight of the stand here, it'll just spin. So we use the light torque just to show what you need to do. Find your correct torque for your machine in your owner's manual. Remove the stone. Verify that there's some clearance over your knife. The stone still turns over the knife. Release the locking pin and install your catch. Now you're ready to sharpen again. The goal behind this tip is next time you go to adjust the stone, that stone slides out easily and isn't rusted and compacted onto your uh, rings. Thanks for joining us. Remember to like and follow us on all social media and check out our website for a full inventory. Remember, if chopping's your game, Scolton's the name.